Hey internet, Eric here. Uh, been a while uh, since I've done a video, and um, I thought I would try something different this time. I'm not going to discuss a movie. Um, I've gotten some requests for me to show off like my collection of things, because I've been known to collect inter interesting things sometimes. And to get some content out on the channel since it's been a while, I thought I would show off my very small collection of uh, pint glasses. A um, couple of these are courtesy of Fright Rags. One of these is courtesy of Zaps. Um, and one was just a really cool present from the wife and kid. Um, I'm going to start off with the one I got from my wife, from uh, producer Rachel, uh, my wife, and um, our daughter. Um, I don't know if I got this for my birthday or if it was for Father's Day. Huge horror fan, and they know I love the classic Universal Monsters. So they got me this. At the top, it says the original horror show. And it's got the Bride of Frankenstein. Can't really see it with the glare. The mummy there. The Frankenstein monster. Dracula right there. Wolfman. And the creature from the Black Lagoon. Really, really cool. I really love this. I love the colors. I really love the detail, especially of the Gill Man right there. Creature from the Black Lagoon. And then just the way the uh, Bride of Frankenstein is yelling right there. So this is a favorite of mine. You can't really see, like I said, with the glare. Really cool. So that was from them. Next is from Zaps. If you don't know what Zaps is, me and uh, Alex or Frenzy, we had a podcast called uh, Two Bearded Losers, and uh, we loved Zaps potato chips, and we loved them so much that we actually named them our unofficial official sponsor of the podcast, and I actually won one of their contests. I highly recommend following them on Twitter and on uh, Instagram. They have contests all the time. Their tweets are fucking hilarious. I actually won this pint glass. I love the the writing there. So that was potato chips. And this was too because they were always at the time, now they're, or at least what I've noticed last time was they're always promoting the, the Evil Eye flavor. At this time, when I won this, they were promoting the Voodoo flavor. So you have the Zaps right there. But then on the other side, you have this really cool looking <laughs> disheveled uh, Voodoo doll holding a bag of Zaps. Uh, voodoo flavored potato chips. I really like uh, voodoo flavored. Um, I don't know what it is. I've heard that it's pretty much a mixture of a lot of their flavors all together. Really like that flavor. Um, one of my favorites, uh, the Cajun uh, Craw uh, Gator Taters is also one of my favorite. And whatever their fucking dill pickle flavor is. Really like that. Um, next up is from Fright Rags. And uh, these are really, really cool as well. Fright Rags is where I get a lot of my horror t-shirts from. Um, I highly recommend them. Follow them on Twitter. They do watch-alongs all the time. Very funny. Jess, if you're watching, um, Jess is a friend of mine. She actually works the warehouse, and there's been times when she's actually packed my orders and done a little bit of uh, artwork, let's just say. So my first one I got, I was really happy to get this one. It's a Killer Clowns from Outer Space one. And this detail is really cool. You got the Killer Clowns. Like, all of them, I don't know their names. Deal with it. You got the tall one here. Really cool. Holding a cotton candy cocoon. I don't know if that's Joe Lombardo or that's the old dude. This one, this is the one that was that held the mallet behind it, him, which makes sense because he's got the big hamburger and he's waving hello. Um, and then we got, I don't know what the fuck that is. Then we got the one with the creepy uh, punk hairstyle, which I always liked. And he has got his um, balloon animal hunting dog. We have... Random fat clown number one. Teeny tiny one who is pretty famous for the one, you know, you're going to knock my block off. He punches the biker's head off and knocks it in the garbage can. But this is from the, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. This is from the scene where he pops out of the pizza box. When the hot chick uh, hears the doorbell or a knock on the door, she shows up, she's in her nighty. Ooh, pizza, huh? You know, you know, just to look sexy. And then she's turning into cotton candy. And then we have, I think his name is Fat, so I don't know. And he shows up at the door of, uh, of a lady, and he has a box of chocolates. He goes, for you. And she thinks the husband did it. And, of course, then she gets zapped. And then, of course, we get fucking Clownzilla, the scariest, coolest clown in one of the best scenes of the whole movie. Absolutely love this pint glass. Pretty much every main clown is depicted here and represented. And the next one is, the final one I'm going to show you guys, from Fright Rags. 
another thing about uh, Two Bitter Losers is we always ended, after our credits, Halloween 3 is the best. So I pre-ordered this one when I first saw it from Fright Racks. We have a Halloween 3 pint glass. We have the Silver Shamrock insignia or the little pin that they have or a magnet or whatever it is in the back of the mask. We have the masks well represented, the skeleton, I've always loved the skull one and the pumpkin one, which not so much. But it looks like the children are being affected. The channel wasn't changed. We have the the logo. I've always wondered if this is supposed to be Connell Cochran in his warlock form or whatever the fuck he's supposed to be. But that, that's always looked really cool. And then we have, what do we have here? I don't know what the hell that is. No, I don't know if that's supposed to be one of the robots or, or the lady who's been shot in the face. I don't know. Anyways, but then we have Tom Atkins himself holding an upside down clown mask. Ooh. And there it is, the, t the TV right there. This is one of my favorite endings of a horror movie ever. When he successfully gets two channels to turn off the, I think it's two or three, two channels to turn off the Silver Shamrock commercial, and then the movie ends, and he's yelling, stop it, stop it, stop it, then looks directly at the camera and screams, stop it, and then boom, credits. We don't know if the children of the world have been killed by Connell Cochran. But yeah, absolutely love this pint glass as well. And Halloween 3 is in my top two of all time concerning that franchise, right under number four. So deal with it, all you Halloween original movie lovers. Um, those are my favorites. So that's it. Short and sweet. That's how I do it when I'm very tired and very busy. But I just thought this would be cool to show off my collection because, like I said, some people have requested my collection of things. Uh, I do know eventually I will be showing off my collection of autographs from different actors. Not just horror some wrestlers in there and some regular actors regular um that's it i'm rambling hope you enjoy this video comment below tell me if you have any of these from fright rags or from zaps tell me if you love zaps if you hate zaps if you want to know what the fuck zaps is if you like fright rags all that stuff like and subscribe click the bell all that jazz i'm out cheers and now my phone won't turn off there you got some outtakes later